Huh. Oh god, the tree. Long enough to get it to shoot and There she's rolling. See why it ain't running. Oh, watch the door, watch the door, watch the door. Drop that hole on the pump load in the tank. I don't know if it had no spark. Uh oh. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to squeeze in between the guys. The 331 car is back and it's got an issue. See, that's the And we're not sure exactly what it was. Guys, if you remember a while back, we did a, a 331 in this car, got it kind of back on the road. It's been sitting a long time, but now, don't think we got any spark. Which actually, we got a gauge here. We can test fuel pressure first. And go yeah, from there. We're we'll turning the key on somebody. Yeah, so see what we're doing here. <laughs> I think you, you can handle you can handle it. Turn the key on. Turn the key on. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. He's coming up. We're all the way up to 40. Yeah, we meant to hunt on Spark. Try that next. Alright, let's see. Hey, Third yeah. yeah, crank it. We well, gotta get in and clutch it. Yeah, take it out of gear, clutch it. Ooh, bunny hop, be out the back. <laughs> Firing? Yep. Yep. Hmm. We got no spark. <laughs> Test at the coil next, maybe. Yeah, cause remember he said he changed the coil. Yeah, right. Said he had a value craft on it, and value craft played out. Value craft. Probably his uh, distributor. He said it was running hard with the value craft. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he that, that high performance <laughs> auto zone value craft. Running hard, Harley running. Probably Harley running. Yeah, what do you see? What about, uh, what about Spark next? Damn, bring me 20,000. No. That's just, that's how it's made. All right, let's try the coil. Coil, we got Renard cranking. Yep. Everybody stand back. No. <laughs> first gear, is that? Yeah, first gear. Yeah. Is, is so, bad cool? let, let, let's let's recap again. And and we, let's always check the MSD stuff first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to be that yeah. savage, but yeah. <laughs> look, guys, look. That thing is literally brand new. Brand new. Yeah. We've said it, I don't know how many times. It don't matter if they're brand new or not. You still check them. I've been to other places that said, <laughs> when one comes in, don't run. We check the MSD stuff first. Yeah. <laughs> So, what do you say? The MSD need to change that color to brown? Something. Yeah, Just, yeah, yeah that, that'd be about right. Yeah. Because we were about to, we were literally about to do the distributor and do a bunch of other stuff because that part was new. No, that's, that's yeah. a coil from like 19. Yeah, that, I'm probably, that's probably an OE 92 coil and bust it off on the first time. So, uh, hardest lesson learned. Right there, and, and that goes for basically anything. Alternators not charging, I mean, you just don't ever freaking know. Just don't assume, because it's brand new, you're good.
little, little stand here and choppy chop. All right, guys, so that's pretty much going to wrap it up. I hope that kind of helps you out if you're having diagnostic issues. And we've said it a million times just, just from messing with these cars so much that don't ever think just because – don't think you've eliminated a problem just because it's brand new. These things will bite you in the ass every time. I say that all the time. It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> but seriously, though, guys, run your process of elimination. Do the easy stuff first and – um, you know, just kind of check your way up and you may be surprised and somewhat dismayed that your brand new part turned out to be junk out of the box. So I hope that helps. If it did, pfft, big thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one.